Welcome back, family. It is another edition of Tuesday's Recap, Sermon Recap. And of course, I am joined once again with my co-host directly to my far left and seated right in the middle of us is the illustrious pastor of Rafa Christian Center right here in the city of Windsor, Ontario. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Amen. Well, we have again been feasting uh, the this past month. Um, on just some profound word, we've yes, been yes. we've been enjoying uh, just the rich presence of God, and and we wanted to share and kind of go over some of the things that we have received this past month. I'm gonna hand it over to you, um, Dr. Crooks, to just get us started uh, with the first sermon, which I believe was again under the umbrella of the God, God who sees. Yes, um, yes, you can take it from here. Absolutely. So. Um, looking back at April 7th, um, that message, Pastor Brown, mm-hmm. was the um, subtopic, two subtopics. If you look for it, you will find it. And then also focusing on faults. So um, most of you know about OCD, <laughs> obsessive compulsive disorder. But Pastor put a spin on that and OCD and define it as obsessive compulsive devil and where you were talking about Christians so focused on the devil Mm -hmm. that they can't look within themselves and see what they're doing it's all about the devil so if you can elaborate on OCD obsessive compulsive devil no brothers and sisters you know me I want to explain the devil today what you look for you will find it and some of you don't even know what I just said members of the body of Christ is so obsessive what do we say obsessive was again OCD obsessive compulsive disorder obsessive compulsive Devil. I'm leaving the D not for disorder, but for devil. But I'm not talking about the person who always washing their hands. There are members of the body of Christ. They are so obsessive with the devil. They have no internal perspective that the problem lies within. Yeah, that was <laughs> impactful. Very impactful when you said it. I was like, "Yes." Yeah, at the, at the time, obviously, I didn't wrote that. Mm-hmm. It, it came, so <laughs> it's not something I, I practice in my office. This sounds good, uh, but I do believe, based upon the old um, umbrella of the message, mm-hmm. yeah, we're looking for it to find it, and particularly uh, the Christians who seeks to find fault in others, or we find ourselves in challenges, um, situations. We most often than not, we mean in Christians Mm -hmm. in general, but not every Christian. But I Mm -hmm. find this particularly within our culture slash the West Indian Christian culture is the devil, the devil, the devil, the devil. I'm often said I'm not uh, apologizing or being, what should I say, uh, for the devil. I'm not speaking on his behalf. No, I am not an advocate (laughs) for the devil (laughs) and could never be, obviously. Uh, But I find and become annoyed by the fact that it's always the devil make me do it, Mm -hmm. which isolate me from looking introspect. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Introspectly. Mm -hmm. Hey, the fall lies within you. The sin emanate from you uh, okay. not mm-hmm. just the devil coming mm-hmm. and nippling at you and mm-hmm. driving you and jamming at your side and and you just lash out at the devil jesus said everything comes from within that's the man it. that's what i was and thinking. that's the message i was trying to bring across mm-hmm. uh, we are so obsessed yes with the devil the devil to the mm-hmm. point where we are blinded by our own true actions of sinful nature. Wow. And Christ said, there is no good in man. Wow. That if there's no good in me, mm-hmm. 
the devil didn't have to do nothing for me to do oh what God. I do wrong. And, and that's the point that I was trying to bring across. And the Holy Spirit definitely bring it across because it, it resonates with me. And of course, all messages are for all of us. Amen. Yes, Amen. absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. And, um, and so go, go ahead. Go ahead. No, carry on. Yeah. And, and looking at that, you were saying we're so caught up in people's outer appearance. Um, yes. That we don't use what God is doing presently to see what's going on. I'm just focusing on how you look, how you look, that I'm missing what's really going on right now. So true. Uh, again, this church, I'm sure you all know that we preach and teach godliness from the perspective of external appearance. Sure, mm-hmm. sure. As it, as it relates to modesty yes. or immodest for that matter. Mm-hmm. So, but we don't beat a dead horse. Mm-hmm. We don't continue to beat it over the head. If it rises every now and then, sure. it will be Correct. addressed. Yes. yes. Yeah. But there's some folks, they're so obsessed with external looks, they forget about what's happening on the inside. Mm-hmm. Some folks are not at the level that you are and we require really good nurturing mm-hmm. to get them to the point where we are. Till Christ is if born. the truth be told, yes. we were rascals ourselves before mm-hmm. the Holy Ghost bring us to maturity. Thank you, Lord. Absolutely. But we refuse to give that leeway yes. to those who are coming up behind us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some of us was written off as ever going to be saved. Y'all know that's true. <laughs> but guess what? You're now a bishop. Glory be Not God. in title only, oh but in the knowledge Mighty and in the maturity God. of God's word. Thank I'd rather have Jesus. no title yes. than I'd be immature mm-hmm. with the title. And when I mean immature, I don't mean making jokes. You can't even rub two sentences properly together <laughs> without saying amen, praise the Lord. Oh. You have to go Billings. deep in God's word to be able to bring it out. And so I see people criticizing, criticizing, criticizing. The devil, they met me. The devil, the devil. Right. And they never said, it's me. There's a song that says, it's me, oh Lord. Standing, standing in the need of prayer. Mm-hmm. Yes. Not the devil making me do it. It's me, oh Lord. My God. Yes. I want to segue into our next subject because, again, such a profound word. It was a call to, it was sobering. It was mm-hmm. a sobering message and it was a message on the subject of holiness. Yes, yes. And we talked about, we, we understand holiness to be, um, you know, isolation. It's the, it's the separation, the, the calling out. You you laid such a, an amazing foundation, building us up, saying, you know, you're special. That was yes, the end of yes. the precursor. Yes, you're special. You yes, are special. And by the yes. end of the message, we had an, an understanding, standing. a clear understanding of why the selection of God. You how God, definitely yes, got it. You, you, yes, she yes, absolutely yes, 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 got yes. That gives, it gives me joy. Yes. Not when the message sounds good or people, yeah, they're when jumping and see it, and they're praising it. When you it's get when it, the message reaches the yes, target yes. land. And has a profound yes. effect yes. And, transformative. and transformative, transformative effect upon the target. In the target, and in this case, is the audience, mm-hmm. is the congregation. And that message affects this target. Yes, Lord. mighty God. It affects this target. You may not understand this now, but if you are truly a believer in Jesus Christ, just look to the person next to you, hold their hands or both their hands. Put your devices or Bible down for a little bit. Just put it down for a little bit. It could be two people, it could be three people. Just just hold their hands. The person hands with whom you hold hands, except for us here, and we hold it together. If you can, look at them, if you can, tell them that they're special. Tell them that they are special. Tell them that they are special. No, my bullshit. You're special. You're special. Sister Ashman, 
We're holding hands, letting the person's hands that you hold, let them know that they're special. Tell them that they are special. You may not get the opportunity again to see that person to hold their hands. But tell them they're special. Those of you viewing us online, I want you to hug your children. Hug your significant other. Tell them that they are special. Somebody hug those children. Let them know that they're special. Touch them. Let them know they're special. Ah! In that, the Lord was saying to us on that particular Sunday, we are so special. And the reason why I say you got, because you, how you explain it, mm -hmm. that's how it was intended. Mm -hmm. In the first initial wave of saying to someone you're special mm -hmm. and greeting them, not to say, you know, pat your neighbor, this and touch your neighbor, but to get the idea yes. of specialty yes. and Definitely. then show it's not because you look so beautiful. No. It's not because you're dressed fine. Mm. It's not because you're in a, a, a rough a church yes, while you're right. special. Mm. That may be true, but we're not, you know, <laughs> but it's, I'm, I'm dealing with now the specialty yes. of what God has done mm. to the vessel. Thank you, Lord. Yes. And you are referring to now with regarding to holiness. Mm -hmm. uh, it is often understood by us within the West Indian culture, church setting, that holiness is primarily you living right to external appearance and activities as well. Right. While that is not incorrect, that's right. Mm -hmm. It's not the essence of true holiness. Amen. Amen. And, yes. and I have to, I have to yes. make that very right. clear. Right. Right. Uh, it, it is not my intention to belittle what we uh, allow us to step up where amen, we are. Amen. That's that step was needed. Yes. yes. But once you're up here, you'll realize you couldn't see what's up here. Oh my God. By being down there no. until you come, come up. up higher. God, yes. Come up higher. And what God has shown in, in that particular message to us in that Sunday is we're special because he pulled us out of a group of yes. human beings. Yes. He didn't, he didn't bring the old groups. It Pull out it, like, yes, the whole. Picked it, out, it, it picked us out, out of, of that group of human beings yes. and brought us into a place called sanctification. Thank you. And the God. sanctification is not me doing right. Amen. No. He sanctified by, me amen. by yes. virtually of the fact that he pulled me out. Right. And then he looked at the sanctified one. Yes, sir. Say I'm, it. I'm getting say all excited. Say, so it. I, I say, say it. Say it. I'm going to just be right. <laughs> Go ahead. Nice say and it. easy. Say it. My God. He called the sanctified ones mm -hmm. and he declared to them, yes, be, be holy. holy. Mm -hmm. Where I am holy. Now the sanctified have no idea how to be holy. Right. So God bestowed yes. holiness Mighty God. upon us. Thank Can you, you not Jesus. see how special then yes. the reality of one individual child of God is? Mm. He sanctified you and then bestowed holiness upon you and to top it off, God love is so unexplainable. He says, Brown, McGrowder, Wilson, and all of you that are viewing, the millions of you that, we, that are viewing Get us. Your name in there. Mm -hmm. I want you to know, he said, I'm coming to give you eternal life. But I didn't do nothing yet for it. Don't worry. Sanctify you. Make you holy. I love you so much. I want you next to me. You mm -hmm. can't be next to me unless you have eternal properties in you. Woo! See, and perfect segue to another nugget of that word was that we, he wants us next to him. He desires yes. relationships. Yes. Right. We have to live, and this is part of holiness, we have to live as though he He's is right, right beside us. That was, that was part of it. Yes. Yeah. Living a holy life, living your life, With the understanding that God is next to you. 
living my life. And let me use this word as though he is next to me. I got it. Finally got it. Brothers and sisters, holiness is never something that you achieved by doing. It is a misconception to think that our holiness is achieved by something that we do. Sometimes the things that are happening in your life is simply because you are special. And the specialty in which I speak about does not mean because of your superiority, why you are special. The specialty come as a result of because of him who have chosen you. Yes. Right beside and us. if you really take that if, if you take internalize that mm -hmm. and if you take that on to be your mm -hmm. truth your daily mm -hmm. truth that he is right here with me it will change the way we walk the way absolutely. we talk it will absolutely. all of those things absolutely after the message i was having a conversation with someone and that's what i was saying imagine if I think you might have mentioned something like this. If Pastor Brown was coming around, you behave a certain way. Yeah, right? I did an example by sitting with, next yeah, to one of the, uh, the person. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so imagine if, if I could just see myself, see God as right beside me. There's no way I would do some of the things I do. That is absolutely and I think correct. We have this view of him being up there minding his own business mm -hmm. and we're down here doing our own little thing mm -hmm. so we can do whatever it's like having blinders on like an ostrich put your head in there and just in your own little world when god is seeing every single thing that we do and i was saying to the person imagine if you think god is with you 24 7 sitting beside you like how you're sitting right here pastor brown mm -hmm. how we would do things differently Absolutely. Even when it's not even a sin or, yeah, or yeah. we would still do things differently. Absolutely we will. Uh, if, if you should ask the questions, well, Pastor Brown, why is that? <laughs> why do we, generally speaking, uh, tend to live our lives that way? Uh, we'll come to church, we'll be a little bit more holy, we'll be a little bit more mm -hmm. sanctified. Yeah. But once we leave Together. the four walls, or mm. maybe, a com maybe there's not a four walls, it's a completely circled building at your end. We tend to let down that precision lifestyle mm -hmm. and go to a more relaxed one. And the answer to that is proportionality in that your proximity. Yes. You're right there. You're affecting me. Why? Because I have five senses. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. I, am, I am called to live beyond the five. Amen. That takes a different type of lifestyle, meditation. Mm -hmm. So it's generally acceptable and easy to rely on the five mm -hmm. senses. Mm -hmm. You're right here. Yep. I would be governed by the proximity yes. Yes. of relationship. Yes. Hey, I can't, I can't even see yeah, where he's at. Mm -hmm. right. I hear him sometimes. But the yeah, five yeah, senses yeah. play a trick on us. And that's why he told us Live beyond there. Thank you. Mm. You see, the child of God who live beyond there. Thank you, Lord. You change your surroundings. You mm. change your environment, mm -hmm. and you change your world, whatever that world that you're living in, because mm -hmm. you're now not thinking on the level of if it makes sense, if it looks right, it's good. You're not walking by faith. My God. You're living in the realms of faith Amen. by declaring things that are absolutely known, make no sense in the real world. Yes. And that's the world you're living in. So in that world, all things are possible. possible. And you bring it into your natural world. Oh, my God. Mm. It's like a kid in a candy store mm. and can't get cavity. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Great Mighty analogy. God. Talking about Mighty the impossible, God. bringing the impossible. Yes. Let's go to last, this past Sunday's message. We, what beautiful segues. We, we, <laughs> yes. we, I try, I try. We, 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 were, we were reintroduced to the narrative of Jesus raising Nazareth in, a, in just a deeper and more profound way. Um, 
one of the things that you, so to those of you, my fellow listeners, uh, viewers who, who may not be familiar with it, go ahead, run back to St. John chapter 11 and read the story of Lazarus. Quick in a nutshell, he, the man was dead, dead for long days. Jesus didn't come on the scene right away. Uh, by the time he did finally arrive, and th- there was a relationship between the two of them. He, he was described as his friend. friend by the time he arrived, four, uh, four days dead, putrefied, buried the whole nine. Um, and people were disappointed that he didn't show right. up. He didn't come on the scene sooner. But he said, you know what? It was on purpose. Uh, that it, it was for the glory of God. And you will see uh, the demonstration of God's power in a moment. Anyway, go back and read it for yourself. That was just a mm-hmm. paraphrase. Um, but you said something. You said, and I'm going to, I'm, again, slightly paraphrasing it. But you, the essence of what you were saying is that we cannot project, speaking about impossibilities, We cannot project our concept or our definition Mm -hmm. of something, fill in the blank. In this case, it was death. We can't project that definition on the eternal God. That's it. So the same God showed up in flesh. And declare, our friend Lazarus sleepeth. But scientifically speaking... Jesus, you error. Yeah, said, said he wouldn't die, and now he's dead. Let's go and wake him up, he said. Now, Jesus is consistent in his words in that if he's sleeping, when someone is sleeping, you can wake them up. When someone is sleeping, at least the potential is there for them to be awakened. When someone is dead, as understood by human beings, Science vault doesn't have the ability to bring them back. Wishful thinking is empty. It can't bring them back. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. There is nothing within our quiver that can bring back the dead from its state of deadness. So Jesus, let us know that how you perceive death, don't project that on me. To strap me in your mind frame. To let me operate on your scale of belief and your scale of understanding. I speak from my perspective. My perspective is infinite. I speak knowing that I do not err. I'm going to wake him up. Though you think he's dead. I know he's sleeping. Precisely was the crust of the um, the discussion, if you will, mm. or the teaching <laughs> session. Yeah. It was that when we try to use our own definitions and understanding, even of God's word, mm. and then put God in the category of what mm. we understand, right. we bound to make errors. Mm-hmm. Come up short. We're going to mm-hmm. come up short. Mm-hmm. Because... On the surface, Jesus make it very clear to his disciples, those that were following him. This sickness is not unto death. Yes, he did. Right. Now, those who do not understand scripture will chart that up as an error in the scripture mm-hmm. where Jesus is not completely inerrant because, hey, he I said understand. someone was going to die yeah. mm-hmm. and the person died. So from that surface perspective, hey, he erred. Mm-hmm. And if you don't understand the scripture, if you're not led by your spirit, you have to conclude, yeah, you got me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Until Jesus demonstrate his depth is depthless, mm-hmm. his width is witless. In other words, yes. you cannot measure limit. the level of which when he speaks mm-hmm. what he truly means. My God. Yeah. Oh, sometimes, God. Thank you, Lord. sometimes catch that word. he may go up on the surface to your level, to your, you know, go and say, okay, that mean that to you. And that's why I say, you know what, plainly, the man's not sleeping, he's dead. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to wake him. Now, you don't wake a dead person. Mm-mm. Again, he could not stay at our level all the time. He's got to go back to who he is. Yes. And, and that's, that's the true nature of, of the eternal uh, Christ, is that he cannot remain a human being for long. Mm-hmm. That's ends only 30 plus years. Because what, what an incredible thing to condescend 
to the state of flesh. That's it. That's when you it. dwell mm. in eternal. Uh, can't even put There's words no to it. Word to it. No, <laughs> word. no word. No word. No word. That's There's why I said, no glorify word. me with the glory I yes. once had. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. He All literally powerful. only All come knowing. for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only All powerful, all-knowing. And what a powerful declaration and, and the way you just tied it up. You know, Lord, I know that, you know, at the resurrection, mm -hmm. he'll rise again. And the, the illumination you're looking at resurrection. That's this it. is resurrection. Jesus power. is resurrection. Yeah, and I know Christ said that to um, the sisters. And when he said that to the sisters, I am quite sure, based upon their response, mm -hmm. they didn't understand. No. Mm -hmm. But he had to say it so that information fills the universe, fills the universe of the human being. And he had to say it today. because mm -hmm. everyone who have any expectation of Messiah to return or Christ to return is looking for him now to have this fantastic, mm -hmm. glorious, yes. up, phenomenal, yes. phenomenal yes. Awesome. super mm -hmm. light event mm -hmm. where the grave is burst yes. open yes. and yes. the yes. earth is burst open and mm -hmm. dead bodies with skeleton rising. None of that going to happen. The resurrection mm. is Christ himself. Woo. That blows the mind of anyone that study and see the truth. Mm. You can't be the same. Mm. He's saying, I'm not going to be a part of the resurrection. He is. I won't meet you at the resurrection. Oh, Lord. Yes, sir. Calm down, Jer. Yep. I'm not going to meet you at the resurrection. Mm. I'm, I'm not going to be there. I am I'm it. The, he, he is. I am it. And that's how we know we're getting up. Woo. If if the same Sick. spirit yes. that raised Christ, Christ from, from the, the dead, dead dwells in you. Mighty God, mighty God. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. When he get up, yes. we get, get up. up. Let me, we let me, let me, in him. let me, I, okay, calm oh, down. God. Hear what the scripture said. The prophet saw the mobile throne of God mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. moving from one stages to the next. And there was wheel mm -hmm. in the middle mm -hmm. of the wheel. wheel. The throne was there. Every time it moves, everything moves together. And if it goes here, the wheel, the angels, everything. the, 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 the everything moves the together. Wheel. Though they look separately, everything moves. So they were tied, so to speak, mm -hmm. together by one invisible phenomenal force. Oh. If we're not tied to Christ, Ooh. you're not going nowhere. No. No, the sir. same spirit yes. that moved the mobile throne has got to be in you and I. Amen. Because that's the same spirit that raised Christ Amen. from the dead. Okay. And so when he moves, we, we move. So that's why we have to have eternal life ah. because he is eternal. Yes, See? My so now God. you can't work for eternal life. No. Mm -mm. He's going to bestow Stow that. Oh, you can't work God. to be holy. He bestow that. You can sanctify yourself. No, he he bring you. I'm, oh my God! I'm telling you. To any man mm. that believes, that's it. That's what I was thinking. To any man, just that to believes. believe. That's all we're required to do is believe. And so we want to extend this wow. invitation. If you are yet to be in Christ, yes, get in Christ. Mm. The door is still open. Mm -hmm. that's what he also said. He said, "I am the door." The door. Enter in now. Don't delay. Don't no. wait. Don't hesitate. The power of God is real. Mm -hmm. It's real. Absolutely it's real. real. It can be your portion. Eternal life can be Thank your you, portion Jesus. if you choose him today. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Did an altar call. Hallelujah. As Jesus. usual, as usual, it has been my profound pleasure. We're going to wrap Thanks it up because we could go on and on for mm -hmm. hours more. But it has oh been my distinct pleasure to have these wonderful people with me and for you to have joined us for another edition of Tuesday's Thought. It is my prayer, again, that the peace of God sure, will sure, be sure, sure. with you. And until we see you next time, our petition, first of all, is that you share the video. Share this, like it, yes. and comment. But certainly yes. share it. 
um, let somebody else hear of the goodness of God yes. through his word. Absolutely. And of course, we invite you to join us if you're in the Windsor, Ontario area. Join us in person. You will not be disappointed. The power of God is real and the presence of God is real in this house. Until next time, may the Lord bless you real good.